Okay, so today I will show you how you can make Silent Hill 4 work on PC with a controller. Specifically a DualShock 4, it also works with it. Uh, mostly you require a wired controller for to, for making this work. But in you need to go in your description and you need to go here to this PC gaming wiki page and download this specific version of X Input Plus because if you go to the page uh, of the game on PC Gaming Wiki's website, uh, it kind of redirects you to some shady Japanese website, which we do not want. So yeah, you're gonna come here, click on download here, you will accept it. As you can see right here, just accept, agree, and download. I already have this downloaded. You don't need to sign up or log in or whatsoever. So yeah, here is the game folder, and this is the GOG version, or yeah, it's the GOG version, or GOG, whatever you call it. Come here inside redistribution, and after downloading it, you can just extract it in any folder. Now, the first time you will turn on X Input Plus, it's going to take a couple of minutes when you kind of boot it up for the first time. It could take anywhere from 3 minutes to 7 minutes or even 10 minutes, so be patient. Next thing, you need to come here inside select, and you need to select the games, the game's exe file. I have already done this, but I will just show you. Yeah, you see this? The selected executable file already has been set for X Input Plus. Do you want to read the settings? Uh, this won't show up for you because I've already applied it. But hit, uh, yeah, I'm going to hit yes anyway, but this won't show it to you. Now, you don't need to change any of this right here. Just come right here in the direct input. This will be turned off by default. You need to turn this on. And here, you need to change the LT and RT to button 11 and 12. You can change the guide button to button 11 if it's not there. Uh, come right here and set this to Z axis and Z rotation. That's it. Then you need to click on apply. Uh, obviously, I have already applied that, but I will hit apply anyways for this video. Uh, I'm going to hit OK. As you can see, yeah, it, it's done successfully. This is all you literally need to do to make a controller work. This will work with DS4 Windows as well. Uh, Anyways, I'm just going to launch the game right now and show you guys right here. Now, this might be out of frame a little bit, so I apologize for that. Uh, sorry, wait a second. This might be a little bit out of frame because it's in windowed mode, and yeah, I can't really like adjust it because it just minimizes itself. I have to run it in full screen, uh, else my recorder won't work, so I apologize for that. But anyways, I will show you how it's working in-game. And I'm currently using a DualShock 4 with DS4 Windows. It will work for any controller as well, as if you have any controller, so. Okay, so the loading is complete. And yeah, over here, I'm playing completely using the controller. And it works perfectly fine, the PC version. and. Yeah, you don't need to emulate the game anymore or so. You can play it on PC. I'm actually using the right analog stick to move freely right now. Uh, these are the trigger buttons. Of course, I have changed the controls a bit. But yeah, you can see, like, everything's working. I'm playing with a, a DualShock 4. So yeah, this is how pretty much it works. I hope it helps you guys. Uh, you will find the link to this uh, direct input, or sorry, X input plus from the description. So yeah, I hope this video is helpful and just share it with others.